this is where you want to revolve and all those things. And you can still do the same thing like revolution degree or change the resolution, how many axes you want. Okay. Uh, once you're done, click accept, and now you have your new mesh. Very cool stuff. So another thing you can do is to duplicate this asset. Let's say you want to modify this one. And the problem with this is that you will modify all the instances that are here. Uh, you are modifying this asset. So if I duplicate this one, and just for the sake of demonstration, I will do the sculpt here. I will move it, accept. Then all my instances will be updated. And sometimes you just want to duplicate it. And the way I'm going to do that, I have two options. I can either right click on duplicate here, but that's a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do is just right click here. And in my, uh, in my create, I have dupe option, duplicate option. And you have here delete sources, which means it will delete the actor in the scene. It won't delete the asset. It will delete the actor that is in your word outliner. And you have an output name. Let's just call it my new mesh. Okay. You can also keep the actor if you want. You can hide it. You can keep it. And if you have different sources, you can keep the first one or the last one you click. In my case, I will delete it. So this is my new mesh. And you can see that when I sculpt on this one, let's go to sculpt, do the same, accept. Now this one is a entirely new mesh. This one hasn't been updated. And the reason is I created a new mesh that is here. The old one is here. So very handy too. Following along uh, the create shelf, you can also append. So you can click this and click this one. And then notice that some options are like grayscale. And the reason is I cannot use them unless I select two objects. And once I click the first one, and then I go to the second one, I can click on a pen. And this will combine the sections and create a new asset. I can either create a new asset or modify my the first one I click or the last one I click. In my case, I want a new asset. So I will check new combined. And I will I will keep the sources for now so you can check. Okay. So now that I'm here, I can move this, and you will see I have my mesh is combined. So this is very useful when you want to create new new assets or things like that. Uh, personally, I use it for like create this bridge very easily. It's a bunch of assets I can duplicate. Now, this, this looks like a bread because I sculpt on it. But let's just say you want to create, like, you have different assets. Instead of going to 3D Studio Max, you can just go to my, let me go to my mega scans and click static mesh and type wood. Okay, and I will select this one. And I will just duplicate this ones. Just like this. Alt. And then check all this. Rotate. Oh, it's just a, a little bit prettier. And now I can just go here. Oh, then I can rotate them. 180 and then I will select all of those and what I will do is to do that event I will delete my sources and I will call it my new bridge once I click on that you will see it will combine my mesh and now this is a new mesh here if it has too many polygons, no worry. We have Nanite enable apply changes. And problem gone. Okay, so now I can maybe play from here. 
and I have my bridge, my small little bridge here. Okay, so that's for the duplicate function. Any any questions so far? Um, the, there was a question about enabling the plugin and it uh, not showing up. And so there might be two reasons. Uh, first, uh, you need to restart the engine. Second is here up. Uh, I'm not sure if you are using Unreal 5 or Unreal 4, but make sure there is enough space. Sometimes this uh, in Unreal 4, you can like decrease or increase the size of the windows. Make sure you have enough size to check it. Otherwise, you will see an arrow here. Okay, any other one? Nope. Jeez, this is a very dangerous breach. <laughs> I didn't notice they, they have the, the spikes here. We should have rotated. Yeah, this, this side is fine. We rotated where we are cool. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's move on. So uh, just make sure that the one you create, let's check the collision. Use complex collision as simple. You don't want that. Or you can apply the com convex collision, which has a significant improvement in a real five. It's much better, much more accurate. Uh, just try it out. It's, it's brilliant. There are a lot of things they haven't told you because it's not like the big changes, but for this version, actually, it has a lot of small little changes that you will like. Okay, so you can see this is how we created the big head guy. You can check the mega scans. Let's just have some fun now. So let's grab this guy. Let's grab this guy. And let's increase the size of the head. Let's rotate it. There you go. You got a masterpiece. Beautiful. So what you can do is go to your modeling tools, click the first one, click this one, and then go to a pent, new asset, click accept, and there you go. Just notice that you will have that complex collision as simple by default, and it can be quite heavy. So let me change this thing. Project default, okay, and now you don't have it. All right, so let's move on. We have the poly model.